In this session, we'll be talking about flagella. I've already told you the flagella are one among the surface structures of bacteria, and flagella are basically required for the locomotion of bacteria. I've also told you that flagella are having three parts. If you can look, there is filament, there is hook, and then the basal body. So there are three parts of flagella, out of which the longest part is filament, which is made up of protein called flagellin. And filament is the outermost emerged part, which keeps on spinning movement. And that's how the bacteria revolves, the bacteria moves. Now, when you talk about the inner parts, the hook is the junction between filament and the bacterial surface. The basal body is in the form of ring. If we can talk about four rings, one is like one we'll be talking about. We'll be talking about, we'll be talking about MS rings. We'll be talking about LNP ring. Now, when you look forward for the gram staining, when I'll be teaching you about gram staining, in gram staining you will be seeing that in bacteria there are L, P, S, M four rings present in gram negative bacteria. But when you talk about gram positive bacteria, you don't have L and P ring. Only MS ring are present in gram positive bacteria. So gram positive bacteria will have one pair of the rings, while gram negative bacteria will have two pairs of the rings. Now, what happens? The flagella can remain present in the bacteria or it can remain absent in the bacteria. If it is present, bacteria will be moving with the help of flagella. If it is not present, the bacteria will be moving with the help of maybe gliding. Now, we will be talking about there are different types of bacteria. Those are based upon presence or absence of flagella or maybe the number of flagella. The number of the flagella also vary in a bacteria. When you talk about them, when there are no flagella in the bacteria, the bacteria is called atrichus. So atrichus are the bacteria which do not have flagella. When a bacteria has got one flagella at one end, you, you call it as monotrichus. So monotrichus, mono means one. Trichus flagella. So one flagella at one end, the bacteria is monotrichus. It can also occur in case of amphitrichus that you see one flagella at each end. Like there are two flagella, one flagella at one end, another flagella at another end. Such a bacteria it's called amphitrichus. So monotrichus one flagella at one end, amphitrichus one flagella at one end, and another flagella at the second end. When you talk about cephalotrichus and lophotrichus, what happens in cephalotrichus? that uh, what you call at one particular end you will see many flagella there are many flagella in case of cephalotrichus at one end but it can also happen that let's suppose one end is having number of flagella and the second end can also have number of flagella what you call to the other end and that bacteria it's called lophotrichus so in cephalotrichus you have bacteria where at one end you have seen the tuft of flagella while in lophotrichus you see there are many flagella there are tuft of flagella on both the ends in the next session we'll be detailing you about shapes of bacteria